Hello friends and neighbors, welcome to Gentry Vintage. I am Josh, your host. Today I am coming to you from Vintage Corner. It is about 60 degrees and sunny outside and uh, because of the beautiful weather, I think everybody else had the same idea to be outside. So we retreated from the back porch to the Vintage Corner and uh, we'll just do the video here. Uh, if you hear a bunch of noise in the background, the cat is a uh, Apparently all hyped up about the weather too. She is a uh, romping through the house like like a crazy cat. She, uh, you ever had one of them days if, if you're a presenter? Um, you ever had one of them days where you try to start a video about ten different times before you can actually get it started? That was me today. First time I tried to start the video, I accidentally kicked the tripod over. Um, second time, I was <laughs> trying to stop a sneeze. And I, I blew ashes everywhere. <laughs> um, third time, somebody called me. And uh, so hopefully the fourth time is a charm today. We'll see. Could be the good Lord saying, Josh, it's too pretty outside. Quit sitting on your butt trying to make videos for the YouTube world and get outside and do something productive. Well, I will, sir. Very soon, very soon. So today, I am smoking a little Wessex Burley Slice, courtesy of my buddy Aaron over at Road King Rider. And today I'm smoking it in, courtesy of my buddy Paladin Piper, my new-to-me Medico Magnet Top. She's topless. And uh, I, this is an awesome little pipe. Um, I love the bowl on it. I love the shape of the bowl, and it, it's deep. It's uh, perfect for this burly, I guess, flake, whatever. Um, man, it, it was so easy to load. I, <laughs> I started just pulling pieces of that off and just kind of stuffing it and folding it down in there. And This, this, uh, this might make a good burly pipe. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, but it's just a neat, neat looking little pipe. Um, if you're like me, when you get a new pipe, you, I personally... I like to run a few different things through it and just kind of see what works best in it. Um, last night I did run some Carter Hall through this and uh, she needs a little breaking in. Um, that was kind of a gross smoke, but uh, so far this tastes really good in it, but I wanted to run something a little stronger through it and kind of help uh, knock the ghosts out of it, if you will. Well, I hope everybody's doing well. It is a Saturday as I film this, and I hope everybody had a good week. Um, it was a little busy, crazy week for me, but I, it was a good week. Um, so a little life updates, I reckon. The wife had some tests done this week and uh, everything came back uh, good for the most part on all of that. Um, she still got us some more tests and stuff to do and um, a couple other doctor's appointments. But uh, so far, everything looks pretty good. Um, there's obviously some stuff going on that we got to figure get to the bottom of. But uh, some of the important stuff that we've been worried about is a uh, comeback clear. So. Still keep her in your prayers, if you will. Uh, still trying to sort some stuff out, but uh, it's been some, you know, at least some good news this week on that on that side. So um, very thankful for that. Um, well, I had wasn't having trouble keeping this lit. Now all of a sudden I am because I started running my mouth. Um, so we made the decision over the, well, basically last week. Uh, we've made the decision to transfer my dad into at-home hospice care as a neuro patient. Um, so I discovered that um, going into hospice care as a neuro patient uh, is a little different from uh, the idea of hospice that you might have in your head. Um, and without going into a bunch of detail and stuff, um, I, I think at this point it's it's the best decision for my dad not only for him but 
us, the family as well. Um, I think it's a good, you know, mainly for him, but um, I think it's the best decision and I, I feel good about it. Uh, it sucks. It definitely sucks. Uh, but I do believe that it is the best decision right now. And uh, so we have decided to do that. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's for the best. Um, yes, if you hear that, the cat is uh, making a bunch of noise. <laughs> um, oh, and now she's in the litter box. Okay, that's just on the other side of the wall. So I apologize if you have to hear the cat slinging litter out of the litter box. So uh, on the work front, we got a new manager this week. Uh, seems like a really nice guy. He is uh, retired from the Air Force as an airplane mechanic for 30 something years. A uh, very, very intelligent man. Seems to be pretty down to earth. Uh, just seems, seems like a pretty good guy. I haven't had a chance to talk with him a whole lot. Um, <clears throat> but just from what I've overheard and what I know about him and the little interaction I've had with him, uh, I feel good about it. I think he's going to be really good for our, um, for our company. And, uh, I think he's gonna make a lot of changes in a good way, uh, restructure a lot of things. He's, he's a very detailed, uh, organized, structured type of individual, and you can definitely see that uh, just in what little time I've been around him. But uh, I think he's gonna do a, some, some real good, much needed changes uh, within our company, and I hope I'm right. Um, <clears throat> I just, I, I get a good feeling about him, and uh, he just puts off a good vibe, so I hope, I hope that continues. So I, I feel good about that. It's uh, it's refreshing. Uh, my supervisor has made a wonderful interim uh, manager over the past uh, few couple few months here. And uh, I think that kind of helped to turn things around in a better direction. So I think this guy came in at, at a good time to kind of steer that in the direction it was headed. So I feel good about that. So uh, we had several people <laughs> In this week, um, had two people come down from corporate. Uh, one was to kind of help him get orientated and uh, everything and adjusted and everything like that and do some training with him. And then we had another person from corporate in for other reasons, but not necessarily bad reasons. It's just uh, reasons he had. But, um, yeah, it was, a, it was kind of a busy week. You know, it's always a little more, uh, I don't want to say tense, but... Uh, a little more exhausting when you have a bunch of corporate people around looking over your shoulder all all day and for a whole week. Um, I come home every day this week, you know, doing the same job and everything I always do. But uh, I don't know, you just seem to feel a little more exhausted when you know you got a bunch of people watching you all week. But anyway, I feel good about the direction things are headed. So um, I was ready for the weekend, that's for sure. Oh, I almost knocked it off the desk here, but uh, did anybody else happen to get a get a can of uh, uh, <laughs> maple shadows? <laughs> oh, I had a brain fart. I was finally, I've been, I've been looking, waiting for this to uh, pop up, and uh, I finally was able to snag me a can of it when it came out the other day, and I heard on smoking pipes it sold out in like 12 hours, and uh uh, Pipes and Cigars does not seem to have it. Uh, I know Country Squire also was sold out pretty quick too, but I did pop it open and try it last night. We'll do a review on this really soon. Um, I did I did want to go ahead and pop it open and try it and just kind of get an idea of what I thought about it. And uh, the wife tried it. She wasn't overly impressed, but our tastes are a little different in tobaccos. You know, she's more of an aromatic person and I'm more of a tobacco person. But uh, I thought it was pretty good. And like I said, we'll do a review on that soon. Um, but I'm glad I was able to get a hold of some. Uh, I don't know if it'll be back in stock again or not. I just, uh, like I said, I saw that it sold out in like 12 hours on smoking pipes. And maybe they'll get some more back in. I don't know how long they run this. Um, 
I know it's a, a uh, limited run that they do, but I don't know how long they have it out. So it might be back in stock. I really don't know. This blend is doing much better in this pipe than the uh, Carter Hall was last night. For whatever reason, I was getting a real kind of a soapy taste out of the Carter Hall last night in this. I probably should have started it out with something stronger like this. Or I could have just done uh, Maple Shadows. I keep wanting to call it fall shadows instead of maple shadows. So I need to do, a, still working on doing a little reorganizing and stuff out, out back here in the vintage corner. Um, I got all the wife's, wife's blends down here <clears throat> on this little bottom shelf over here. Um, all the stuff that, well, it's not everything I'm currently smoking, but I mean, I'm not smoking all of this right now, but... <laughs> Um, most of my jars that I rotate through kind of regularly are on this shelf and some tins that I'm smoking out of right now. A couple, a couple of these are sealed, uh, uh, let's see. Actually, I think only maybe two of those are sealed, I think. But, uh, a couple of those I'm going to jar up today. Uh, got my little six pipe rack up here on the top shelf. I don't know if the camera's showing that one or not. Um, but I got my little six pipe rack up here on the top shelf. And, uh, but yeah, down, down here, mo most of this stuff is stuff I kind of rotate through. Um, all my stuff that I sell or sell her is in the, uh, in the closet on a shelf in the closet. And I keep all that stuff in there that, that I'm not smoking. That's cellar, deep cellar, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I just had this little shelf sitting over on the other side of the room the other day. And I said, you know what? It'd be a lot more convenient to put all my tobacco pipe and tobacco stuff kind of all in one area the stuff that i go to the most uh like i said the seller seller stuff is in the closet um but i thought it'd be convenient to set this up here on the desk and kind of be able to walk in the room and go straight to it um sometime this weekend i'm gonna start going through all my pipes and start cleaning them up and i was gonna make a video for you and just show you my current pipe collection uh when i get them all cleaned up and uh yeah, I don't know if the camera's showing it or not, but over on the side, on the other side here, I got a, all of the different baggies, different samples and stuff that I've uh, been trying to, trying to work my way through. I got a bunch of samples I need to try that I haven't got to yet. And uh, I got stuff that I need to jar up as well. And uh, got another thing here that Rose sent me the other day, Carolina Rose. Um, I have not tried this sample yet. Uh, she knows that I am not a Latakia fan, but uh, she wants me to try this, and uh, I'm going to try it on video for you. Um, I'm not, I, I won't say that I hate Latakia. I don't hate it. Um, there is, I think I've said before, you know, early morning pipe, it, it's a Latakia blend. It's a, a light Latakia blend, but I do like or, early morning pipe. Um, I like, what is it? Got it in a jar up there, too. Um, I don't want to rummage through the jars trying to find it. Uh, Boswell's uh, Countryside. Co Boswell's Countryside and uh, Early Morning Pipe are two blends that I do, that have Latakia that I do like. Um, who knows? This this sample that she sent me, I might end up liking it. I don't, I don't know. But um, I'm not a huge Latakia fan at all. Um a light amount of Latakia, I don't, I don't mind, but some people might say, well, maybe you'll get used to Latakia, you'll learn to like it, it'll grow on you, and so forth, blah, 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 um, I seriously doubt it, I feel like I've been smoking a pipe long enough now, that if I was going to learn to like Latakia, I would, um, I've been smoking a pipe since December, late December of 23, and, uh, I've tried several Latakia blends, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, they say your taste changes and everything. Maybe one day I'll kind of learn to like it more. I don't know. 
But uh, I will try that, Rose. I promise, and I'll do it on video. <laughs> But, I reckon that's about all I got for today. I just wanted to come on here and spend a few minutes with you and catch up on things. Mmm. Well, got to... I got the ceiling fan on. There we go. Um, I was gonna mention, I gotta go back and find the video where I mentioned it and find the comment to figure out who said it, but there was somebody that recommended when I was talking about having trouble lighting this lighter. Um, I apologize that I can't remember who it was that said it, but uh, the person that mentioned to me about putting, cause I said I was using um, Zippo flints in this lighter and it, I was having trouble getting it to light on the first light or second light or sometimes even a third light. <laughs> But uh, the, to the person who told me to try putting two flints in this thing and see how that does, thank you. Um, that has absolutely fixed my issue. Um, for the most part, this lighter now lights on every single light. And uh, thank you for that little tip. And uh, I would have, I should have looked it up to, uh, to see who had said that prior to this video. And uh, I just now thought of that. But I, I apologize. But thank you so much for that tip. And uh, it did work. So if you're having issues and you're using cheap little flints like I am, um, try putting two flints in there and uh, go from there. Because it definitely uh, definitely fixed my issue. But anyway, uh, well, um, I reckon I'm going to hop off here. The, the wife went to get her hair did this morning and uh, she just texted me. I think she's on her way home. And uh, she's probably going to wonder why I... I threw a little laundry in, but never transferred it to the dryer. And uh, why I'm not doing half the other things I said I was gonna do today. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I appreciate you spending a little time with me this morning. And uh, we'll get out a couple more videos very soon here on some reviews that I've been trying to get done. And uh, one of them will be, well, what did I do with it? <laughs> oh, this Wessex Burley Slice will be one of those reviews. Uh, along with some few other reviews we've got coming up soon too. But anyway, like I said, I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me. And uh, until next time, I wish blessings for all and lots of luck to you and yours.